Ash, how special is it to be able to wear this uniform this weekend? Yeah, it's obviously um, a really important game for us. Um, obviously, Cricket Australia have made a pretty big impact on what's happening in, the, in Indigenous cricket at the moment, and to have this reconciliation plan um, to take place, and we're the first ever female or male team, Australian team, to wear this um, in the cricket space. So yeah, um, it's really exciting to be part of that, and I guess yeah, to almost connect sport and culture is a really, um, I think, important thing going forward. Can you tell us about what the team will be doing tomorrow? Uh, we'll be going out um, onto the field. Um, to my knowledge, we're taking off our shoes, um, which I guess just gets you in touch with um, the ground and the and the earth and um, I guess where we are. And then we're linking up um, with the England players and all the match officials. And yeah, I guess that's just a nice way to connect before we start um, a pretty serious match. Um, how important is this for, for kids to see you guys wearing a uniform like this? I guess it just shows um, Indigenous kids in particular that it can be done and I guess they can play at the highest level. I guess that's something that I've always tried to speak about is um, if you have a goal and you have drive you can do it and I guess yeah it just shows to those kids um, that it can be done and um, to have to have this uniform it's a pretty special thing for for young um, Indigenous kids who are aspiring to be cricketers or to play um, any sport that they can play at the highest level and um, just to see some of their role models wearing um, a pretty cool design um, yeah is, is a really special thing. Is it something you'd like to see become permanent or more often? Uh, yeah I'd, I'd obviously love to from a personal perspective um, being from Aboriginal heritage obviously it's probably closer to me than anyone else um, but I mean going forward hopefully this can be um, a yearly thing there's obviously talks for it to happen in our domestic season for um, the WBBL but um, if it was able to happen I think it would be um, a really big move for Cricket Australia to do. Yeah there's obviously um, the main emblem is the walkabout wickets emblem um, designed by Fiona Clark who was a descendant of the first of a team who left Australian shores. Um, I was obviously fortunate enough to go on that 150 year commemoration tour um, in 2018 to retrace their footsteps and um, it's basically um, the main meeting place in the middle is the MCG, I'm pretty sure, um, and then all the other grounds, uh, all, all the other circles around the outside are all the grounds that they played in England. Um, and apparently the three little stumps are the English wickets getting tumbled over. Um, that's what some people like to tell. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cool design um, that we're able to wear and it's to have some serious meaning. Um, we've seen participation for Indigenous players jump over the last how many years. Is that, do you think that this is kind of representative of that, that you get what you see is what you can achieve and that's getting more Indigenous people to play cricket? Absolutely. Um, I think it's a really exciting time to be involved in cricket and I think it helps that there, mar there, there are more um, role models for those kids to look up to, obviously. Um, the likes of Dan Hughes, uh, Dan Hughes, Dan, Dan Christian, um, Darcy Short, people like that for, for young aspiring cricketers to, yeah, to see that whatever they're doing they can do as well. Um, obviously most um, Indigenous kids probably go to footy because um, it's obviously more accessible, but I guess now the way that Cricket Australia is going and um, the money that they've put into Indigenous cricket, there's only really one way to go and that's up and um, I think that's a really exciting time to be involved, um, not only for myself but also to, I guess, be a really good role model for those kids to look up to. Sure. Um, how are you feeling, Ash, after that mishap at the weekend? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm good to go. It was, um, yeah, a bit of a silly silly thing to happen, obviously turned my back um, at the wrong time and Alyssa Healy tends to have a target on me. Um, and yeah, she got me in the neck. Thankfully, it wasn't um, in the head, which probably would have prolonged um, my recovery. But yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, what did you have to go through this week to prove that you'd be fit? Um, well, the first couple of days was obviously just um, not doing a whole heap, just trying to get, um, I guess, my headache under, under wraps. And I guess once those symptoms started to, to filter off, that was when I could get back into the cricket side of things. And um, today was my last test, basically, just to prove that I could face pace bowling again and to do what everyone else was doing um, to make sure that I was match fit for tomorrow.